Matt from Investaquant. Today is Tuesday, May 10, 2022. Before I get started today, I wanted to make a quick note here to let you know about our webinar tomorrow after the close, 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time. We're going to be hosting a webinar for our new auto trading program we're calling IQ Meta. It uses our advanced machine learning algorithm to uh, determine which trades it's going to take, and it is designed for a little bit smaller accounts than what our initial uh, flagship program was designed for. So we're going to be doing that after the close. Um, I think most of you will find this pretty exciting. It's going to be more available to most people because of that um, lower funding requirement that it has. So that's tomorrow after the close. You can sign up for it using the link below, investaquant.com slash webinar. All right, let's hop into today's Daily IQ. Yesterday, we had another sell-off day, and we closed below the lower Bollinger Band, which can be a kind of an oversold reading. We don't see that one all that often. And today, we are going to be looking at what has followed that type of pattern in a weak market environment. So I've selected all four instruments. The setup's based upon entering the market long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time and exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time. Now, currently, we are trading just a little bit above yesterday's closing price. So uh, for the opening filter that I'm going to use today, I'm going to do this gap size as a percentage of the five-day ATR. And I'm going to see that the gap can be no larger than 25% of the five-day ATR. So currently, the five-day ATR is quite large. Um, so 25% of that would be about 31 points in the S&P um, so it could be you know, a gap in either direction of 31 points and still be valid for today's setup. So I've selected that. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to build out the price pattern and indicator uh, that I'm going to be using here. So for price patterns, I'm going to say yesterday closed at a 50-day low. So we are selling off and getting that oversold reading um, at a 50-day low. I clicked on it over here in the active today. It comes from our new lows section. Uh, the next one I'm going to do is go to the indicators. And I'm going to say that we closed below the lower Bollinger Band. That's the top option here in active today. And that's all I'm going to use for this test. Now I'm going to click View Results. All right, here we go. These are the results based upon entering the market long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time, when you open with a gap that is less than 25% of the five-day ATR in size. The prior day closed at a 50-day low and below the lower Bollinger Band. Historically, dating back to 2003, we've got 47 samples in the S&P of this pattern. For the NASDAQ, we've got 51. For the Dow, 45. For the Russell, 86. The win rates on these are skewed towards the downside, with the S&P coming in at 32% of these have closed above the opening print for the day. For the NASDAQ, it's 37%. For the Dow, 44. And for the Russell, 47. If we look at the average moves, the average loss larger than the average win in the S&P. That's not the case in the NASDAQ. NASDAQ has a larger average win. The Dow has a larger average loss, and the Russell has a larger average loss. So uh, if you kind of look at it all together, this pattern has been a bit more weak following that oversold reading. Hopefully you found that helpful. Good luck today. We'll see you next time.